Probably the biggest single improvement to Project 2013 has been the addition of a great number of report and reporting options. In fact, it's such a big addition, it has its own ribbon. So if we were to take our My Bedroom August Underway file and look at the report ribbon, you can see there is a whole section here called View Reports. Now the built-in reports have been broken down into categories and we can see a dashboards category, a resources category, a cost category, in progress category, getting started category, custom category, and then a recent category for your recent used reports if you're often picking reports from the lists. Let's look at some of the nice neat ones, the dashboards for example. We click the drop down, we have a number of reports here. And the burn down, which is quite a popular report, shows how much work you've completed and how much you have left to do. So here we have remaining cumulative work is the blue line. So that's what we've got left to do. The baseline cumulative, and you can see we're adrift of that. And the remaining cumulative actual work. And then the same with the tasks. Baseline remaining tasks, remaining tasks, and the remaining actual tasks are in grey. This has a scale of hours going over time, and this has a scale of number of tasks again going over time, so forwards. And that's the burn down report. Other reports in the dashboard section are a cost overview, and that gives you a total cost, remaining cost, and percentage complete, as well as a number of graphs, progress versus cost, cost status for each of your summary tasks. So these are the four summary tasks. And again, over here, it's the four summary tasks that it's broken down by. Actual cost, remaining cost, baseline cost, cost, and then cost variance. Back to reports, dashboards, project overview. Same percentage complete. Milestones. Each of the four summary tasks and the current status. So the empty room is 100% done. 9% prep room and then 0% for the other two because we haven't got that far yet. Back to the report ribbon. Upcoming tasks. List the tasks that are yet to come this week. Report. Dashboards work overview, which shows you the work burn down graph again. Breaks down the work stats and gives us these big Statistical numbers, 23% complete. Remaining amount of work is 143 hours. Actual carried out, 44 hours. Report, dashboards, and that's all the dashboard reports. So there, they fit on a page, quick summaries. You then have a number of other categories, such as the resources, that shows you over allocated resources, or a resource overview. And that shows us our main resources here and the current status of them. So me, I've done nearly 40%, decorator, just over 20. So you'll see there's actually quite a few reports in here and it's worth looking through them to see if any of them meet your current needs. They only report, obviously, on the current data within your project, but they all summarize using small graphs, bar charts, or line graphs to demonstrate your current status. Whilst a project is underway, the in progress section is really quite useful because it can show you your critical tasks, which are quite a few. And a nice little pie chart there to show me the current status, nearly a quarter complete, small section on schedule and a large amount still to do. Milestone report, milestones that are passed, milestones due this month, milestones that are 100% complete, and we only have the empty room milestone. That so simply shows the milestones. And obviously on a larger project, this will be a fuller file. Now there is a whole section here called getting started. And these really aren't reports. They're more sort of helpers in how to get about and start using projects. So how to create reports. Best practice analyzer, getting started with project itself. So they are reports and they're in the report section, but they're not really to display information about your project. They're to help you work with a new project file. There is then a custom section for any reports you create, and they will be listed here with whatever name you call them. And we'll look at how to create your own report shortly. And then a recent section for reports that you've looked at recently. 
Now, all of these groupings have at the bottom of them a more reports option. So it doesn't matter which one you're on, it says more reports at the bottom. More reports, more reports. Now, the more reports option takes you into a reports dialog box where you can see the groupings. So custom dashboards, resources, costs, in progress, getting started, new report and recent. And within each of those groupings, so let's go with in progress, you see a link to the particular report that you're interested in. So I might go with late tasks, select, and that shows me the late tasks report. So it's the same reports that you can see from the report ribbon with each of the groupings but it just gives you a dialog box to allow you to flick through the available reports and choose the one that you want.